15 centimetres from death. Spent 450 on her kicks. With one arm, a girl hangs off the back of a train at speeds up to 115 kilometres an hour, even posing for photos. She's joined by four boys, all showing no regard for their lives. I grew up in the States. Feds watching my face. Across the network, they repeat their actions and get caught in the act. What's your reason for train surfing? We won't train surfing. I'll give you a hint. It's in Melbourne. <laughs> What's in Melbourne? Your house. Where are you living? Nilex. And they're anything but apologetic. It's completely our decision, and if we want to risk, risk our lives doing that, then it's what we're going to do. Members of the group called Sky High Idiots hide behind masks and don't want their identities revealed. If you're proud of what you do, why do you hide behind the face mask? So we don't um, have to pay a fine. Metro has slammed these actions as dangerous and risky, but they're also deadly. In four years, three train surfers, Joshua Green, Jordan Porter and James Wilkinson, have died. But in the past year, only ten train surfers have been penalised, but many more are defying public condemnation. And while the fine is $389 for adults, it's only $78 for those under 18. Police are now considering using the latest CCTV technology to monitor events on trains in real time. Members of the group say they're not phased by the police attention, the penalties or even the threat of a crackdown. Instead, they insist they'll continue to post more videos in an act that's thumbing their noses at authorities. Parents aren't really too thrilled about it, but it's not going to stop us. Is anything going to stop you? Not really, unless it's death. This group is now under police investigation. Jonathan Kersley, Nine News.